Hey everybody, June 28th, my name's Reagan. Some call me the Doom Wizard. And once in a while, I like to take a break from climate and economy and focus on otherworldly issues. In today's video, I'm going to discuss how things are for young people. And I'm going to stop you right there. I know you're thinking, well, aren't you young? Technically, I passed my 20s a few years ago. So thankfully, again, I'm past that. It is another wildfire smoke day today. The climate is rapidly warming up. Economic conditions and tensions between countries have never been at their worst, at least in recent memory. So for context, let's look how the economy is doing for young people. Pretty self-evident, as we see here, a large accumulation of assets in the hands of boomers, who by my age could have multiple kids and multiple houses, even take a vacation twice a year, perhaps. Yep, they just racked up the real estate, using it as rental property now for younger people who are battling inflation and rising cost of living. Oh, you want a sandwich? That would be an hour of your life, minus taxes. Thankfully, we have social commentators such as Molly Barth writing for Fortune. The headline reads, Gen Zers are turning to radical rest, delusional thinking, and self-indulgence as they struggle to cope with, here's the word, late-stage capitalism. You see a young woman here on her phone. Gen Zers are adapting to a bleak financial future by focusing on their quality of life right now. Well, you're not alone. I'm doing the same thing with no bottom feeders in my life. Yes, I resisted children in my 20s, and I could not be more thankful. Let's read from the top. Gen Zers are still in the early stages of their careers and personal finance journeys, but their financial habits are already proving to be radically different from those of their predecessors. With heightened levels of anxiety about the future grounded in very real socioeconomic and environmental issues, Gen Zers are reconfiguring their approach to money for those beacons of anti-capitalism and pivotal figures in the great resignation, financial success in the late stage capitalism looks very different from how other generations have defined it. Their economic outlook is bleak. More on that in a moment. Gen Zers have encountered their own set of unique challenges entering a workforce at a time of global societal uncertainty from graduating during a global pandemic to current fears around inflation, wage stagnation, growing inequality, and impending recession. Many feel that the cards are stacked against them. You are not alone. A recent study by Fidelity Investments found that 45% of people ages 18 to 35, so I fall within that bracket, don't see a point in saving until until things return to normal. Mm-hmm. Of course, for emergency expenses, but come on. In that same group, 55% said they put retirement planning on hold during the pandemic. The future doesn't look much better with growing anxiety around the climate change and the deterioration of traditional safety nets like Social Security. There's a general air of unease among gen many gen, gen Zers. Excuse me. Almost a quarter of Gen Zs respond respondents in McKinsey's study said they do not expect to retire, and only 41% of expect to own a home one day. This Maybe because they're young and such financial goals seem too far away to, to properly comprehend, but national statistics, statistics support the fact that traditional milestones like home ownership and retirement are increasingly unattainable. The first-time buyer was 36 years old in 2022, rising from 33, 33 in 2021, an all-time high coupled with rising student debt. It makes the American dream ever less achievable for young people. Financial wellness is not is more than just money. When it comes to financial wellness, they place less emphasis on financial than on wellness. Unlike previous generations, they're unwilling to stick it out at a toxic job or forgo, forgo travel and experiences in favor of padding their savings. Their traditional markers of financial success, like owning a home, just snagging that corner office at work are becoming not only less attainable, but also less valuable for Gen Zers. Mental well-being is more important. I'm going to paraphrase from here on out. They're increasing looking for ways to prioritize quality of life. The TikTok trend soft life and its financial counterpart soft savings is a start, stark de departure from the millennials predecessors financial habits, which were rooted in toxic hustle culture and girl boss era. Oh, yes. Cashing in and checking out. They've adopted a sort of financial nihilism. 
In fact, they're proliferating some lifestyle things as bimbo culture and stay-at-home girlfriends. The hashtag bimbofication has garnered over 275 million views on TikTok. Meanwhile, sugar daddy dating reportedly spiked 74% on the platform seeking arrangement during the pandemic. Oh, jeez. I don't even know if I want to read the rest of this. Some Gen Zers are reacting to the seeming financial downfall of society by simply doing nothing. Distraction by way of life in the moment and enjoying life has become a popular coping mechanism for those looking to avoid the ills of late-stage capitalism. Growing lifestyle practices like radical rest, promoting the importance of disconnection with traditional ideals and of success and reconnecting with your own well-being by way of self-care and repose. The practice of doing nothing as resistance has taken hold among young people in China as well. Lying flat examples of this radical ideology include not getting married, not having children, not buying a house or car, and refusing to work extra hours or hold a job at all. New attitudes among this cohort will have a lasting impact on every industry. It's too soon to tell what the effects of the shaping financial goalposts will be, but not too soon to start preparing. Prepare for what? The collapse of our global industrial civilization. How bad is it right now? Central banks must accept the uncomfortable truth that they have may have to tolerate a longer period of inflation above their 2% target. Oh boy. Um, banks suffer 2008-style losses if inflation isn't controlled. The world is on the brink of a great disorder from time, the greatest amount largest amount of debt, the fastest rates of debt growth, and buying since debt since 1930 to 45. That's occurring. The biggest gaps in wealth income values is the greatest amount of and the greatest amount of populism since this period. The greatest international great powers conflict most importantly between the US and China since 1930 to 45. So I wonder why why, even though the dollar is expected to maintain dominance over the next decade while our climate radically shifts into a new regime, I wonder why Gen Zers, given all that we've been discussing today, have just chosen to lay out and TikTok. Hmm? Tell me what 2030 looks like. Tell me what 2040 looks like. All right? And I'll, and then we can have a discussion. Okay? Hope you enjoyed the chat. I'll talk to you later.